Hey everybody, welcome to day two of Comic Art Live. It's been a phenomenal run so far and I appreciate the fact that uh, so many people have checked out the site and have been buying artwork. It's been uh, pretty incredible, far surpassing our first show. I think uh, the last time I checked about an hour ago, we were well over $700,000 in sales for our exhibitors and that's uh, you know just a fantastic number. And I sincerely appreciate everyone's patronage of our exhibitors during this uh, show. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun working with them and a lot of exhibitors really went out of their way to uh, you know, do special art drops for the show. So it's really been great. I mean, we recently just peaked at over a thousand active users on the site, which I've never seen before either. So again, that's just a testament to all of our exhibitors going out and pushing uh, you know, the, the show on their social channels and whatnot. And uh, I really appreciate the assistance that so many people have given us to uh, make the show a success success and i wanted to let everybody know that uh the uh halls close at 10 p.m this evening so once they close you can't see anything so if you're going to make any purchases you need to get that done before 10 get your emails out to any exhibitors and uh, you can still negotiate of course after the show is over but 10 o'clock p.m eastern standard time it's a cutoff and that is it so um with that out of the way, um, I will be doing a recap at seven. So I'm here just to introduce our one o'clock panel. As you can see, I'm wearing a, a t-shirt representing Anthony's comic book art. And Anthony has been a friend of mine for a long time and he does regular live streams too. So he's, uh, you know, he's, he's very good at this. He's probably a little bit better at it than I am. And uh, so without further ado, we have a little intro uh, video to play and then we'll be chatting with Anthony and I will see you in a few seconds. I can tell it's pretty windy there where you're at. Yeah, we had to move the whole thing in. So uh, we got we got racks set up, and we're going to do most of the show inside. Uh, we're going to uh, – I have three or four customers inside that came by to give us some action and make it – I wanted to do like a little uh, comic art fans, North Bergen – County uh, get together. I, we might even have a, a, a Nick Trader sighting. I don't know. There's like a wild uh, wildebeest in the wild that's camera shy or something. <laughs> I, he yeah. said he might pop by. Is he hiding his car? Is he hiding his car now? <laughs> He's gonna be mad at me. I'm wearing a blue shirt, but you know whatever. Well, I, you so know, I'm I, also I talking. I what? I was. I'm glad if he if he is on camera because I've been trying to get on camera for a year. Nah, he's he's shy. He's camera shy. <laughs> he's not internet shy though. <laughs> so uh, here's my co-host with the most. Hello, hello. My my biggest fan. Oh. Uh, that's very that's nice. Made for me, isn't that? <laughs> Face the tiger, you hit the jackpot. So, I wanted to do a little bit of show and tell because people always ask me, "Oh, Anthony, what do you collect? What do you collect?" And I'm like, "Well, so much stuff is in inventory that, you know, the things I put aside for myself uh, become uh, fewer and fewer." But this, I just wanted to show because this is my very first page of artwork I ever got. Wow! Just so. Uh, you know, that's Hulk having a snowball fight with himself, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like trouble. And 
we were living in a one bedroom apartment in Manhattan, the two of us. Uh, I think we stopped washing plastic forks by then, but it was close. Yes. <laughs> no furniture then. No furniture. Yeah, there were comic boxes for furniture. So I think that was around uh, 91, 92, in that range. Don't mean to date you, baby. And then, and then a couple years later, <laughs> a couple years later, this was a cover I traded for. I remember I gave Conrad Eschenberg five hundred dollars in comic books for it. I love this because you got Shelly as an Yep. So he got Shelly was an Austrian painter. He died in the uh, like in his still in his twenties, uh, but he uh, uh, Phil actually wrote after Shelly uh, in the art. And uh, it's just been a, a, a cool art piece we've had for ever since. And I, I never want to sell that. I never sold that one. We never sold that. All right. So this is a fun piece because this is uh, a postcard written to San Diego, Golden State, Comics Con, Comic Con, P.O. Box, blah, blah, blah. And they asked John Romita to do a sketch for them. We had to separate this, but uh, you can't see it. I had to make this is on the back of that postcard. So John Romita valued this at five cents when he sent it into San Diego Comic Con in 19, what, 71, I think? 70, still 70. It was still June 70. So I guess they were doing the show in July. So this is on the back of this postcard, and a friend of mine has the Spider-Man one like this, and we were talking about either you sell it to me or I'll sell it to him, but so uh, when he valued it at five cents and we were talking about in a $5,000 range, so there's some appreciation of comic art 50 years later. Yeah. Yeah. So now these are, you know, they're nostalgic to me. They're like near nostalgic, I should say, because, you know, I'm, I've been such a big part, or San Diego's been such a big part of uh, my life since, uh, when well, it was the first year I went out there, like 93. And I've been set up, you know, as bigger and better as I can ever since. So it was a, it was a big, big, big blow to not be able to do San Diego this year. So that's... That's uh, that's my San Diego tribute. They still have my money, so I'll be back next year. <laughs> We're all gonna blow. Up. Oh, this is the original art to the Batman logo that somebody picked out of the trash at DC back in the day and sold me a handful of these. So. That was probably on the cover of more comic books than any other logo ever. Yeah, so we're going to take it inside in a second. This is my favorite piece of Bruce Tim art. I remember I had a Kirby piece that I traded him for it back in the day, and he did this for me. What do you think this would be worth now? Oh! Uh, I'm Yeah. Okay, so I have some customers inside, and there's like, unbeknownst to them, the best deal I do with them gets a t-shirt, an Anthony comic book t-shirt. With hardware by his son. Yeah. And then the worst deal I do with them gets a pair of my uh, used underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad Here. I'm not there today. Are these clean or dirty? I, I don't want to Come on, see if they're clean it. and dirty. You check them. Yeah, it's your job. They're clean. So, and then here's some new stuff. Oh, this is a, one of the things I wanted to do. I have my kid here who's going to start in computer school next semester. Hey, Anthony, we can't hear you. The wind is way too loud. Okay, let's take it in. All right, we should have AJ take this down. AJ, come get this stuff. Put it in the truck. Oh my God, that's so much better. Uh, hey, I got to prep for the next panel, Anthony. 
So I want you to break a leg and sell some art and get Nick Katratis on camera. I'll I'll okay. owe you one if you get if you get that man on camera. Uh, I will owe you a big favor. <laughs> well, one other thing I wanted to tell you is that I'm yeah. trying to convince Joe Viteri to do another comic art show before the end of the year, like in December. So I'm still trying to convince somebody. He's so busy with. Uh, you know, having a new baby and uh, his business and all. But we're still trying to get another, uh, well, I am. I'm still trying to get him to do another comic art con before the end of the year in North in North, uh, North Jersey. So sure. I want to put that out to everybody. So any of the regular dealers that are interested, and uh, I told Bill I would help, uh, I mean, I told uh, Joe that I would help him with the work and, you know, contact me if you want to set up, like, a second week in December. Hey, okay. we have a customer here. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for hey, bringing me hey. in and all. Yeah, not a problem. But, hey, just so you know, I think your camera is locked in the fixed position. So every time it gets turned to the side, it's not flipping and rotating like it should. I know you're using a phone for that. So either you got to fix that before you keep turning it so it's wide. Uh, it, it, it's always showing you sideways. But I'm sure you'll get that worked out. Anyways, go, best of luck. Sell some art. Yeah, I uh, yeah I did. I sold three pieces from the from the uh, from the format from the platform. So that's, that's really good. good. And I'll show you what those are. Cool. Let me bring in my new uh, my new customer my here. New customer. Yeah, new customer. <laughs> He's the biggest collector in in Bergen County. What's up? Big Weighing guy? in at. <laughs> He's not telling. Three hundred and twenty pounds. I thought I was the biggest dealer at six three two fifty, but nope. What's Here's up, the Bill? biggest collector, Jason D'Ambrosio, guys. Hello. Yes. Oh yeah. Hey Jason. Uh, hey, man, the new hey, Jason. Because I what do you forgot think, to do it. Oh, very nice, Jason. I'm going to have you on the show. By the way, I haven't had a chance to text you, but uh, I'll get in touch with you this next week. I've been meaning to, man. I'm sorry. Too been too busy with the show. I love but all right, guys. Book. Anybody in the warehouse now has to go through me. I'm their, I'm their uh, agent. <laughs> oh, great! I got, I owe you, a, I owe you a stipend now, huh? All right. Yeah, my stipend is ten minutes. <laughs> ten <All right>. minutes. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, have fun. All right. So what we have here is a couple X Men pages because Jason's like sick about the X Men. We got a uh, two hundred and twenty-five dollar bill here of marked, uh, marked uh, goodness. Uh, what do you want to do? What do you, uh, I'm, I'm here to make deals today. I'll flip you for it. Uh, Full price or half price? How about that? Sure. All right. Yeah. Head. Okay. Evil or good? Good. You got the good side? So full price or half price? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's, a good, awesome. that's a good sign if I've ever heard of one. Dude, I went in this box and I completely lost it. <laughs> oh. I, I actually did lose it. How about we meet in the middle of, of full price and half price? Now? What's that, like 170? 170, okay, good. Done. Thank you. 170. So, ring him up. Who's going to ring him up? All right, we're doing live deals on camera. Who you got, customer. Anchor? Now we got Anchor gent, gent, Gently. Gently? Gently. Anchor's away. Janker's away. <laughs> Anchor Gently. Hello, Picked up some X-Men stuff from Oh, Napoleon. another X-Men. A couple of Herbert pages that have been sitting around for years. But that means they're underpriced. Uh oh. Oh, another two hundred and twenty five dollar deal. Oh, he was two twenty five too? Yeah. <laughs> Can we do the same 170? You want to flip for it? Yeah, 170. 170. I lost my coin. Lost coin. <laughs> it went into a bin of, of no return. I, I love this piece on the wall, too, by the way. This Joe Polka, if you have a price on that. Joe Paluka. Paluka, sorry. Paluka. Well, that's, that is or it's, a... Or it's Joe Paluka. Are you, are you that is again? by him. Oh, oh, it's Joe Paluka, yeah. Well, this is by Ham Fisher. It's a title. Uh, got this art is, here, art guy, there. Or? Cool. It's framed. How about where are we at? 170 on these? Mm -hmm. Uh two hundred and thirty dollars. For everything? No. Oh, just for that. Like, Come on! <laughs> I'm 
I'm not going to be able to treat you gently if you come on with that that kind of stuff. That's two hundred thirty dollars for that, so it'd be cool. about four hundred roughly. Oh my God. No, it is four hundred roughly. Uh, uh, smoothly. Smoothly. <laughs> did you pay? Did you pay? Got Lincoln. No. You got Uncle oh, Sam. I was busy, but I'm just going to PayPal you anyway. Okay, PayPal me, and send me pictures. Uh, okay, you yeah, that's cool. Already. We'll okay, do that. Great. Yeah, four hundred. Yep. All right, that's cool. All, All right, right so doing you. live deals on camera here at Anthony's Comic Book Art. Give us sleeves. Yeah, we got sleeves. Thank here you. we go. Thank you, sir. See, that was the that, that was, was easy. the easiest right? deal me and Anchor have ever done. I know. I was right camera. Came back in to see what was going on. <laughs> he was shy and recoiling on camera because usually it's a knockdown, drag out fight of uh, you know wholesale versus retail. All right, so let's uh, let's meander back. Oh my God, another customer. <laughs> Another customer. How are you? James Crawley. How are you guys? Phil, thanks for everything you do. It's really been great. Yeah, thanks for facilitating everybody's livelihood in this time of need. So, yeah, we got... Uh, what do you got? You're selling? Got some, yeah, I'm selling. We got some twice up pages by Marie Severin, Muppet Babies. We got uh, five of them total. They're in the circus getting into shenanigans. Oh, Muppet shenanigans, yeah, Sharon. Sharon. Ooh, I like the Muppets. You want to look at those? Yeah. Okay. Now we just got a Dungeons and Dragons page. No, that's Forgotten Realms. That's a that's a Dungeons and Dragons that's knockoff. That's an offshoot. Yeah. It's a knockoff. Yeah. I'd and then we got this. something for everybody. Double Dragon One splash page. Uh, you like video games? You like art? You like comics? This is for you. You hmm. can't beat it. Hmm. Triple threat. Well, I'm interested in the Muppet Babies. What can we do on those? Uh, twice up. Over thirty years old. Over I mean, 30 years. Those are 80s. That's like, yeah, yeah. aren't they? What decade Miss are we in? Piggy is jumping through a hoop. It's jumping through a hoop. Big Grunge should take through a Don't hoop. make me jump through a hoop. <laughs> you have a new baby as well, right? I well, do. 14 uh, months. 14 months. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say about a year. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I carry stuff like this because, you know, I'm here for the long haul. Yeah. Don't know when they'd ever sell. How about 100 a piece? Uh, I was thinking 150. So if you do, I'll meet you in the middle. I think that's fair. You got to make money too. Yeah. Well, at what 150? Mm. Well, no. So I'll meet you in the middle, like 125. 125. Yeah. I just didn't. I just spent all the money I just made with those two guys. I, the encore is gonna buy something. You're gonna get my dirty underwear uh, <laughs> prize. Oh, you it. did. Okay. You get you get my prize. Oh, you get a pair you. of my underwear. And let's see. Where, did Gently leave already? No, I'm here. All right. What size shirt are you? XL. Extra small. Well, <laughs> I don't think this will fit. I don't think this will fit, D'Ambrosio. Have I given you a? Yeah, you have I given you a, a, a t-shirt yet? Yeah, yeah we have. We have. I, we both have the white ones. The white oh, ones. this one's upgraded. Nice. All right, show <laughs> it to the camera. Oh, wow. Who's that art by? Esad. Esad. Very Esad nice. Commission. Very cool. So whoever commission that is, it's worth a lot more now. Yeah, should have put my <laughs> Phoenix on there. Very cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, my underwear joke is over. What is that? Five hundred dollars? Uh, no, one twenty-five. Uh, five, one twenty-five. I'll do five hundred on everything. Uh no. Wait, wait, what do you mean no? One twenty five for these. This is like a fifty dollar page, and this is a twenty five dollar page. This, this like one 75... I would do fifty, but this one uh, two hundred. No, that that is a fifty dollar page. Two hundred. Right. Yeah, no, we can't way. win them all. Let's just do them up at babies then. All right, you throw this in, and we'll f figure out the comics later. Uh, okay. Well... All right. 500? All right. Sounds good. No, it's uh, one twenty five each. So there's five of them there. Oh, there's five. Six hundred? Yeah, Six twenty five. Oh, and there's five in for you. All right. That's fair. All right. And look what I'm gonna do with it. Jamie. If you want to make it an even seven, I'll give you all the sets of the Hit Girl Hip uh, all three uh volumes and uh the FF, all complete sets, round it up. Okay. Beautiful. Jamie, look. Here to to my dungeon master. Here's a Forgotten Realms page. It's like a, Ooh. yeah, so, yeah, I just got that thrown in on a deal, so. We are doing a sketch. Anybody that, anybody that wants a sketch by my son, Jameson, he's doing sketches for 20 bucks, or free with a $1,000 purchase from me. 
<laughs> That's my cut. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll um, I'll show you an example. Where's that? Uh, where's uh, Where's that folder? Go get that one folder for me. Where's and uh, I'll show you an example of his twenty dollars sketches. He's going to be starting at the Kubert School most likely in the fall. And uh, with Anthony Marquez, we're going to have a. a a uh, panel with him or a walk through his uh, his school soon on CAF. So we'll uh, be doing that. Do you have an example of your twenty dollars sketches or the ones that you've done? You've given away. I have. Go get that one folder. There's so many folders. No, that one black folder. Okay. So what we have here is a wall of Esot art. So we have FF, Star Wars, FF, and then uh, Gamora, and oh, the, the, the Eternals, the Eternals. Where's the one? Oh, this one. Okay, so I had this one posted on my CAF, and this one sold, sold, sold. Awesome Cersei here with her... Minions, fantastically beautiful rendered piece. Just a great piece of art by a modern master, by Esad. So I talked to Esad at length yesterday and we are back in business. He can get packages through his customs. And we're going to, here, Bobby, hold on to that. Okay, so this is an example of Jameson's $20 commissions. So anybody that wants a $20 commission, how are we doing on chat? Can you see chat? Not at the moment, no. All right. Uh, all right. Bobby, is there, can you get your pad and try to, like, punch it up so we can see chat? All right, so Jameson's $20 commission. All right, there you go. I still need that black binder that was up front. All right, now some of the masterpieces. This is a this is really cool. This was a deal I just did as well on Esad's art. These four covers sold at once to one collector. And uh, taking time payments on those. So, you know, especially at this price point, an amazing batch of art. And he's going to be doing some more covers for Marvel for that title. And uh, so we'll have probably like uh, six more Marvel covers of Conan. If anybody's interested in that, hit me up. Um, just a few minutes and also. Yes. Um, Which one? Cash. The Muppet Babies. Oh, tell them I'm going to write him a check. You get a check for Muppet Babies. <laughs> so tell Bobby to write him a check. Okay. All right, so the next, the next board of fun here. Oh, I know this. This was on my CAF, and this one sold. So this one went out uh, confirmed this morning. So I had a couple, uh, and there was one more thing that sold when I come across that. So the flying saucer sold. And we are looking at this wall of DC art. I know I had somebody ask about this. There's a price on that now. I want $5,000 for it. The Freak Show, the Circus, somebody in Texas expressed interest in the Werewolf, and then somebody in uh, Chicago expressed interest in the uh, Medusa. All right, well, you know, hit me up, Medusa guy. You made an offer, and I'll accept that offer, and we'll work that out, okay? You know what your offer is, so... We'll do that deal. So that one, 
Let's see. As we go down the line, we, we've done some business here. All right. We've got some other DC stuff. I have a guy interested in this one. It's a super nice Super Suns. So, wow. Anybody that sees anything on this board or, or the other board and wants to make an offer, we're getting the chat lined up. We kind of had to scramble a little bit for this this time because the weather was so windy outside. We couldn't be outside. So we had to make it inside. All right. So now this is our Marvel board. All right. We have some really cool Umberto Ramos, this whole issue. And these covers, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, the origin of the Stilt Man, David Finch. These are these are double page spreads. The the cover to this variant, really nice. We have the tribute to my X-Men Kirby Splash. It's no longer with me. <laughs> Just throw that over there. And the beautiful, beautiful Marvel superheroes. That's by Ramita. That's all Ramita. And that's my favorite piece right now. All right. So. <laughs> all right. So I'll be, I'll, I'll look at that a little bit. You all can't right. see that. All right. She can't see anything without her face shield. How much is the double dragon page? Who said that? I don't own it. <laughs> I can, uh, he wanted $150 for it, I think. Yeah, my friend Jason is a Dolphins fan. We're in the sh almost in the shadow uh, of Giants Stadium. Uh, I've been a Giants fan for uh, all my adult life. And then I was a Raider fan before that because we lived on the East West Coast, and then we moved to the East Coast. That's when uh, uh, I converted. Okay, so now here we have like some romance covers that are that have been acquired recently. Really nice. Anybody see anything that you like and want to make an offer on, or from the website? Let me know, and I'll make a deal right here on the chat i have the chat in, uh, in hand right now nick's not coming he's he's texting in right nick not coming no, we have to. oh this just sold okay the hellboy magnola sold i'll take it that's cool all right here's another one that's sold that's from yeah. Muppet babies. And he give you a stack of comic books, also. Yeah, that was in the deal. Cool. All right, honey. Yay. All right, so we this one moved from the uh, from the CAF platform, so that's cool. So this is uh you know part of the warehouse that we have going on here. This is We're going to sneak peek some stuff here. Bobby, do you want to run look at the chat for me? Sure. Here's some stuff that I didn't have up yet. I don't have prices, but I'm going to make prices right now. Here's a Defenders 119 splash. It's got the villain from this like two or three part storyline. I remember this. And I believe this is Sal and hmm, Jack Abel. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I want at least a thousand dollars for that. That's a special price. It's going up at twelve fifty. If you hit me back right now, thousand dollars. Now, this one's a little more difficult. It's a Sandman 37 page. Sandman art is hard to find. I, 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 man. 
I don't know what confuses me more about Sandman and our, like, you know, who did it, which characters are on it, which storyline, which issue. Uh, so I'm going to have to put this in a taking offers category. All right. If you have an offer on that one, let me know. We can send you a scan. And we have some Deadpool. We have some Power Rangers. This is a cover. And this is a couple. This is my flea market find. Yeah, I still haven't decided on prices on these. This is from the, the What If. Number three, What If the Avengers Never Existed, I think. And this beautiful, beautiful Ramita Senior Captain America page. But you know what? I'm going to put numbers on these. I want to say like five thousand dollars a piece, but a page from uh, DC Presents Fifty Three. What's the best price, John Brown? When's that? DC Presents Fifty Three. What is it, Mark? That's not something we had up here, is it? Okay, so I'm going to do like a claim type of sale on this, 4000 and 4000 I really think they're worth like five grand. So if you hit me back and say, I'll take it at 4000 let me know. Are you able to reference what the, that guy's asking about? Yeah, all right. Uh, here's a Asriel page and a and an acetate. You know, this is like $150. This is like $100 with the... And then we have Ron Lim. Now, Ron Lim, are you the one... Are you the Ron Lim that bought the Magnola? <laughs> there was a Ron Lim that bought the Magnola. Is it the artist Ron Lim? We'll see. Now, this is another one that I, I, I have that uh, I hadn't put a price on yet. But I'm going to put a price on for this this show, and this show only, for a limited time only. It's another one I think was worth like five grand. I'll do 4000 So this is Ramita and Kirby. That's it. It's not displayed. I'd have to look in the art room for it. Tell them. Okay. For, so for the DC Comics Presents, Mr. Mixelplick, Batman, I mean Superman. Oh, Kurt Swan. Okay, so we got to confirm it's here. It's Mark 675. I'll, I'll do 550 delivered. 550. Bobby's going to go make sure that that's here for you. And we've got some odds and ends. and But that's some stuff that's going to go up. Sharon. Anthony, how's it going? Any other customers? Let's see. Did we run out of customers? Well, right now. Are you starting Nick isn't coming? No, Nick's chatting from home, so I don't think we're going to have a Nick Catratus sighting today. Mm. <laughs> we got some requests for John Romita Jr. Daredevil uh, work. Ooh, Daredevil. Uh, I do not have any John Romita Daredevil. Aww. No. I just can't pull everything out of my. Is this the way it's actually looking on online? Uh, that might be. That's what our signal could be. Or it could be what the signal is looking like on the tablet. Mm -hmm. I forget. We're still there. <laughs> so there was a. Um... So there's an interview that we unearthed from the Selling Heroes days that we wanted to bring to you. And Can I take the phone? we wanted to bring to you. And it was actually when I got to spend about five, six minutes with Frank Miller. And we had a really nice conversation. So I want to debut that on this format and then maybe do some more business. Interview with Frank Miller. 
That'll be cool. Yeah. Look at all this awesome art. Do 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 do. Okay, do some slow motion coverage of all the artwork. Sounds good. Go slower. Okay. God. Okay, folks. Uh, yeah, we're having some reception problems in the back of the warehouse as far as the internet goes. So we're going to try to keep it out here. Anchor has something else he wants to do. What do you want to do, Anchor? All right, let's go to the art room. Art room. What do we got going on? We got some business going. Lots of fun stuff. Okay, Anchor. <laughs> if you want me to continue treating you gently, that's a play on his name. <laughs> I was telling one of your uh, coworkers or employees how cool this is. Mm -hmm. What was that from? It's a cover from a Looney Tunes piece? Yeah, it's a Looney Tunes. Uh, it's got Darkwing Duck. Oh, it's Daffy Duck as Batman, right? Yeah, Darkwing Duck. It's called Darkwing Duck. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Who inquired about the DC Comics Presents. That's available. $675. i am going to do $550 on this format before the end of the show. Just confirm with me that you're going to do that. And I'll do that deal. Live deals. And we have good internet show. <laughs> we have good internet uh, up front. Sorry about that. That wasn't Here's us at the party. doing well. Anthony. Here's us at the party. <laughs> That's an old joke from when I was working on a film with Gregory Peck and I was doing selfies with him. 
before selfies were even invented. Here, you run this for a second. All right, so. Are you good? This is the art room. This is where we fill all the orders out and take the, the art from here to out the shows. Pretty much fills up the truck now. So you want to do a nice scan around the art, art room, Bobby? Didn't realize that the that the uh, the reception was so bad from the back. All right, so what do you want to do on Darkwing Duck? What's it mark? Is there a price on it? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Well, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Today only for the anchor. Four hundred. All right, let me show you what I got for trade. We were talking oh, trade my here. God. No, I'm not going to give you a cash price and then give you... See, this is why, you know, we have trouble getting along at shows sometimes. No, but, just sometimes, right. just sometimes. I mean, you know, 500 is great for that. Okay. In right. trade. It's framed. It's framed. It's everything. Yeah, you're getting the, the frame. frame. Doesn't help. All right, what do you got for trade? Uh, I'll we'll, look at some we'll, trade. We'll step up. If you want. We're look no, let's do it right here. Uh, we actually have good reception here up front. Yeah. Now, Bobby, you see these piles? They're all put away piles, guys. Wow. It's all new stuff. Uh, I just ordered of... like a dozen large portfolios, so I have room for them. All right, so can you see this stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Anchor's trade pile, Rowena. We all know her infamous claim to fame. Not her fault that, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't. Go ahead. <laughs> you don't? I don't. No? I don't know her history. So no, I'll, I no what's his face? I, had, I, I digress. <laughs> had a, a, a big painting of hers above his bed. The ruler of Iraq. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, the Scotty Young back girl. That's kind of fun. Catwoman, yeah. Yeah, I mean, cat, Catwoman, yeah. One piece. Yeah, you know, thick thighs. My wife wouldn't like that anatomy. <laughs> like Scotty Young's known for his accurate anatomy. Well, Frank Cho would like it. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you want for this? Uh, paid six hundred for it. So <sighs> <you tell me. laughs> six hundred. That's what I trade. In trade, I take less. Either. I'd rather have that, and that's four hundred. What else you got? Who's Darren? Darren Ock. Oh, Oops. Darren Ock. I know Darren. Yeah. Boy, fam. Uh, Koi is nice. Yeah. Like, is this published or no? No, just a commission. That was a commission. Yeah. See, this is why SO doesn't do pencil commissions. You know, that takes a, a lot longer to do than watercolors. <laughs> yeah. Frank Joe. That's Frank. That's nice. Yeah. I'd rather have this than that. I can understand that. <laughs> that doesn't even swap. <laughs> How much? Before you take it at me, we should ask. <laughs> Twelve hundred on that one. Yeah. You know Frank's not cheap. Come on. <laughs> I know. Who spend more money with him than me? Probably no one. Mm, this might be a couple guys. Which? What is this? Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. Jack Sparling. That's some hot babes in both of them. Yeah. How much is this? Uh, four hundred. Oh, come on. How? What are you up to right now? Uh, out there, six hundred, six, uh, no, four hundred right now. Oh, what? Well, how much is this Batman Killer Croc page? Five hundred. Five hundred. Yep, fair page from the nineties. Who, uh, who penciled it? Uh, Mike Gustovich and Gustavich. Rome, Romeo Thangal Inks. Uh, come on, it's a toss up. That's a pretty short page. I don't know if I could get five hundred for it. Did you? Did you say 500? I said 500. Yeah. All right. So. That's some, then, stuff, that's some stuff I have in consignment, but right. You know. Oh, it's on consignment. Right. How These about this? are mine. This one, I mean, I'd do a swap for that if you want. This one, even up? Yep. You know what? I'm going to do that. Deal. Cool. All right. Take it off the wall. Yep. 
Is that for your kids' room? Probably. You have a couple kids, right? Two kids, yeah. Yeah. I, well, that's what a couple is. <laughs> you know, Very a cool. couple is two. Ooh, and look, it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Ooh. All right. So we know much, it's authentic. How much cash do you owe me? <laughs> uh, four. Gremlin animation. Gremlin animation? Interesting. You don't. You never heard the story of Rowena's like Saddam Hussein had a big painting of <laughs> of, of hers above his bed in his like main palace. No, I did not. Uh, I did not all right, so it. this is mine, and this we're talking about. This we're still talking about. Mm -hmm. Let me let me, let me let me let me let me check my email. Make sure I had that up on Comic Art. Oh sure my no one god! Claimed it. I'm waiting on you. To make sure one. no one claimed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How much more time we got here? Oh, uh, you're 46 minutes in. Okay. It's time to run that. Uh... All right. No claims yet. Okay. All right. Let me let's step out. Uh, did you grab that? Yeah. All right. I'm going to step to the side for a second. Sorry. Oh, can you get go get that folder from so the last time? Let me, let me let you wait. Is it still choppy? Okay. The portfolio, huh? The portfolio that I was showing oh, people okay. new stuff. I think I left it in the back. Hey, more deals. You got new stuff? I didn't see the new stuff yet. Oh, I'll show it to you. It's got some heavy Remita stuff in there. Cool. All right, she's bringing the portfolio up, and then we'll do that one. How are we doing with that loading that Frank Miller interview? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna load a Frank Miller interview. Another thing we have uh, is that uh, from we've been going back into the Selling Heroes archive that we were shooting over the past like four years, and uh, we pulled a really nice John Romita Jr. Uh, interview. There's not too much of him talking about his career out there. And that's posted on our YouTube channel, right? It's on the YouTube channel. And that's Anthony's comic book art or still selling heroes. Oh, selling heroes TV. But you can get through it through the Anthony's comic book art uh, link, right? All right, so. Show show anchor those those page. Oh, we need to see the Sandman. Okay, so it's issue thirty seven, page fifteen. It is signed. I haven't even actually looked it up yet. You know, Bobby's looking it up right now on his phone. Anchor, you want to see some uh, Ramita? New stuff. That's some Ramita stuff that's available. No, no, go that way. Anybody else have anything to chat about? Uh, how, how does how do, you, how do you get back to the chat on this one? Okay. All right. So we have to stay in the front of the warehouse right now because the video gets too choppy with reception on the back. Sorry about that. I wanted to do this out front today, but yeah, the winds are like 40 miles an hour. Uh, on Sandman, it's all Sean McManus. The 37. Yes. The, okay. Uh, Timothy Scott Guerrero, that Rubik is, uh, uh, yeah, that Apocalypse is all, that's a Rubik painting. Uh, if you want me to pull that, I can give you a number on it. If you want a number on it and you're a serious buyer, 
I will give you a deal. This is we are making deals here on uh, Comic Art Fans Live. Lots of cool deals. Lots of cool deals. Yeah. And this is my lovely wife, but you can't tell because she's cool. practicing <laughs> practicing safe uh, COVID yeah. regulations. All right. So. Are you ready with that Frank Miller interview? You're at 51 minutes. All right. Well, we're about at the limit to running it. Okay. All right. So I can finish up with Anchor. Anchor, what are you, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Well, we did a deal for the Darkwing Duck, so that's good to go. You have the Eastern Man's Driver. Okay. Oh, and Jamie, Jamie's working on his commission. Should I go check that out? Yeah. Go ahead, Bobby. Go check out Jamie's commission. <laughs> Can't go too far back because it's just copy. Jamie, how's it going? Doing all right. Tell us what you're working on. All right. Ooh, tell us about that character. Uh, I got the idea from like Legend of Zelda characters, uh, like the Zora from. Like... But it's your creation, right? Yeah, it's my own design. Cool, but you'll do a commission of anything, right? Twenty uh, bucks. Almost anything. <laughs> very cool. You're very creative, Jameson. Keep okay. it up. All right, let's go see what's going on up front. All right, so Jamie's working on a character that he invented himself. How's it going up here? Did you want to get do anything else, Anchor? We can finish up our deal. And Sure, so I have that piece there, the Joe Paluka. And I have these two X-Men pieces. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I like the Giving Lincoln. it up, giving it up. I like the Lincoln and the Uncle Sam on that yeah. specifically. That's what, that's what I like about yeah. it. And then I salute there. So Very inexpensively. Yeah. So I've been looking <laughs> at that for a while. But, I mean, Anchor came down to support our, our show yeah. today and our panel. So I'm giving him a good deal. Yes. Anybody good deal else that wants to chat in and ask for prices, feel free. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's it. You were interested in this, but I was asking 500 on it. So. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, that's cool. Well, how that much is. money do you owe me? Well, this is 400. This how is are you 400. paying? Check or PayPal. It's my usual. <laughs> wow, well, you got you got to you got to try a little bit if I tried with you. I mean, you got that. You got that. Come on. You've got that Joe Paluca literally cheap. Give it your, up. Your, 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 your wife likes it, too. I do like it. Which one? I'm a Batman. <laughs> All right. We're good? That's fine. We're good. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank Yay. you. Coming by. Thank you, everybody. Always fun at Anthony's? Always lots to see. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Hey, there's a little, We're a little crowded today. Right. <laughs> Did you take a picture of those as they're going out so we take them off the website? Can you I, mean, I will. Okay, you will. I'll take you want to go shot. outside? Yep, we can do We're that. almost at sign off. Okay, so what we want to do folks, is run at, on, on the end of our panel here is run this interview with uh, Frank Miller that I was able to do at, uh, uh, I think it was a couple years ago in New York City. So you want to cue that up? Assistant, I called her to try to bring it up to show it to you. Yeah, it's my most valuable piece I have right now. So, and it's also like uh, it was found rolled up in an attic as a fun story, like Stan had given it away to somebody like back in the day, and the guy died. And, uh, you know, 
started, first went to Marvel Comics. Take it. That file cabinet, right? There's, there's this, this, this story of there was a file cabinet. You could just like open it, right? So when you walked in, did you interview with Stan originally? And he hired you? What kind of samples did you have off, offhand? Like, he was the one who hired me. But after I'd done a little bit of a job or two, I was introduced to Stan. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and he gave me a family lecture on the uh, of Marvel Comics. Oh, okay. What was that like? It was great. Great. He knew what he was talking about. So when you came in and class was like working over you and like, I mean, you kind of like, but you went off, you went from there like and, and to find your own style with that high contrast style, right? I mean, I knew, I knew he was a big part of that. Oh, he, he, he was a big part of that? Well, I mean, it's, 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 when I first came in, I, I couldn't have done what we did together. I mean, it, 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 I, I, you know, he, he, he had a lot of polish. Yeah, yeah, you know, he was an experienced professional. You were just starting out, really, right? Yeah, I learned a lot. So then, then, you know, I went off and did my own thing. I worked with the people. I worked with myself. And then, um, you know, we reconnected on, on Dark Knight. Right. And so we worked separately and together since the early days. Yeah, that's amazing. So you, you feel like you, you built your career together with, uh, with that, with him, and then he was a great uh, that's cool. But when you made that 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 real like Sin City, like that was yeah. the first. That was the first, right? Well, I, I, think I had inked my own work, but with Ronan. Oh, Ronan, that's right. Ronan was before Sin City. Where yeah. I found my own work. Right. That's the what I mean. Time. Yeah. 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 That's. I was looking for Ronan. I was searching around looking for a look. Oh, okay. Uh, that's interesting. That's See, that's, that's why it looked like Japanese stuff. Right. Look like, it looked like Mobius and it looked like this and that. Yeah, that's awesome. But to look like Mobius is a you know, wonderful thing. thing. Yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff from Alex Nino once, and it's like, that, that guy, what, what a talent. Right? And some of it, like, oh, is this Mobius? Uh, he's still alive, yeah, but he's not, not well. But that whole group of Filipino guys, a lot of them have passed away, yeah. like those 70s Filipino guys. Yeah. That were such, I mean, what a bunch of talent like oh, yeah. they, they had, like Nino and Rudy Nebrez and Tony oh, They probably worked for his nickel, too. Yeah. Well, that was the whole point. Oh, yeah. This is the uh, X-Men Force Plats that Mike likes to throw around. Sure, let's throw it around. If you look on the back, like, this is all Stan's notes about, like, the characters. Yeah. Look at that. Like, he was just, like, working out the names of the uh, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Yeah. Yeah. This witch, witch woman, Miss Witch. And then uh, he, like, that Scarlet Witch. Yeah. And then he's like... Yeah. That's great. That's terrific. So that's my most valuable piece of yeah. art that I have for sale right now. It's a good service to work. That really uh, didn't destroy his pencils like this did. Yeah. Can you take a picture of this? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is Shannon. Say hi to Shannon. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. That's good. Cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate the conversation. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to our uh, panel here on Comic Art Fans. Thanks for Bill Cox for everything he's done to facilitate these, you know, fun uh, virtual con show days and, uh, you know, let everybody make some money. I hope you break a million dollars. So for me and the entire staff at Anthony's Comic Book Art, Sharon, Bye, keep calm and keep, keep collecting. collecting. Man does whatever a dealer can, spins a deal any size, half good stuff.
up, he will fly. Look out, here comes the Snyder Man. Comic art, comic books too. He's got collectibles holding to At a shop or at a show, stuff to sell, he'll come to you. Hey there, here comes the Snyder Man. 